Welcome, beloved. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Welcome to the first day of the best of your life. I am a starious miraculi. And today I want to share something with you that is very near and dear to my heart. That which launched me onto my spiritual path cause and effect the universal law of necessity is a poem that I wrote at the tender age of 22 at the very beginning of my spiritual journey and it has been a classic in my life ever since when I wrote this I saw the full intention of my life purpose and I felt a power that tenderly rocked my world so here it is cause and effect the universal law of necessity. That which is is necessary. That which is necessary shall be. There is no escape from the fulfillment of necessity. To make a vain attempt will find one in the spider web of cyclicity. Around and around a constant revolution. Not learning the lesson or receiving the message that would afford one a divine solution. But as for every experience, yours or mine, we are the creators of necessity and thought and word and deed. You see, never an element of chance, not for you or for me, because we project the causes, the effects become necessary. We create action, circumstance, and destiny. And now we know exactly what to expect through the universal law of cause and effect. But during the times when something negative would happen to us, our burden seemed so heavy and oh how unjust. And we cursed and cried, how could this happen to us? But the seeming negative thing was a lesson and a message too that could be highly beneficial to me and to you. The lesson and the message were like a door marked pull. But our head was so hard and we were as stubborn as a bull for there we were pushing on a door marked pull. What are we doing? No wonder all the strife let us pass through the door of experience and it will serve us in life. So we open up the door, we stand tall and we face it. Our cup is somewhat bitter but we receptively embrace it. Oh, it's a very wise decision for we cannot escape it. Yes, this effect was reaped from a cause we did so and now simply the time to pay the debt that we owe. So with calm assurance we now walk through the door to be tormented by this experience no more for the lesson we have learned and the message we did hear it, oh how it expanded our mind and quickened our spirit. To think we foolishly thought it was a disadvantage, what a blessing to realize that every seeming negative thing must always have an equal positive advantage. And now that all negative thoughts have been divinely released, our countenance is filled with that heavenly peace, a peace firm in the supreme spirit of eternal standing, I mean that unshakable peace that passes understanding. And now, Whatever our fate, let us not be disturbed. It did not happen to hurt us, but to humbly serve. Despite the seeming pain and apparent distress, all situations are to uplift our consciousness. And now we deny the influence of anything distressing, for there is a lesson that is teaching and a message wisely expressing to please study us closely, for we are really a blessing. And now the knowledge has been bestowed upon you and upon me that whatever comes into being is born of necessity. No more will we be caught in the web of cyclicity. We're now empowered by the dance of cause and effect. The universal law of necessity. So there is cause and there is effect. And then there is effect. The cause is that which we set into motion. The effect is the result 
of what we have sent forth and the effect is how we allow it to land for us at the mental emotional level and so it's really important that we be aware of cause effect and effect cause is likened to the prophet effect is the prophecy fulfilled and effect is the interpretation of the fulfillment how do you interpret the circumstances in your life do you respond negatively do you respond positively everything you bless will bless you back and everything that you curse will curse you back but as for every experience yours or mine we are the creators of necessity and thought and word indeed you see never an element of chance not for you or for me we project the causes the effects become necessary we create action circumstance and destiny as I said during the times when negative things would happen to us our burden seemed so heavy and oh how unjust we cursed and cried how could this happen to us and when we say how can this happen to us then we're assuming the posture of the victim then we are interpreting the experience in a way that will breed more negativity cause is likened to the prophet effect is the prophecy fulfilled yet effect is the interpretation of that which has been fulfilled effect is one of the most powerful equations because that determines how you will let something land for you you have the power to be positively affected by even negative effects what are we doing no wonder all the strife let us pass through the door of experience and we will it will serve us in life see the lesson and the message were like a door mark pull but our head was so hard and we were as stubborn as a bull for there we were pushing on a door mark pull if you're pushing on a door mark pull you don't get rites of passage everything in our lives is a door mark pull no, whether it's the good the bad or the ugly it has to be received first in order for us to learn whatever it is that we're meant to learn from it and through it when the doors mark pull P-U-L-L -L, you take the handle you receive the door unto yourself to the point of wide swing and when the door is wide open now you have rites of passage and you are able to then walk through yes that circumstance was no element of chance we were only receiving our own and that's why we embraced it behold the things of greater brilliance on the other side of the door that now dutifully and gracefully fulfill and replace it I am Miraculi I love you so much I champion you you are so beautiful so wonderful so capable so loving so divine so worthy so rich even when the human part is in the forgetfulness of these truths they still remain true for you, for me, for all of us. My website is astarius.com, A S T A R I U S dot com. I have amazing treasures there. I have uh, uh, CDs and books, and I'm also available for psychic astrology readings. You can access a phone number by which I can be reached. I'm in the Los Angeles area, California. I can do readings by phone, by Skype, healings by phone, by Skype, or in person and the webinar series is still coming I am yet raising some additional money in order to launch that and if you'd like to facilitate that process you can purchase you know my products my services and also even make a donation I have a link on my website where you can make a donation if you would like to make a contribution to the transformational work of Astarius Miraculi. Again, the website is astarius.com. A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. Aho, ashe, amen, namaste, hotep, in lakesh, alakin, shalom, satnam, harion.